What's up everybody? This is Dustin with Life in a Mustang and today it's going to be a sort of a different kind of video. I'm not going to show you the car. I'm not going to do a this tool is cool. Instead I'm going to talk about some uh, automotive YouTube stuff. So I've been doing this for about a year now and I like the creative side of it. Like I like the filming and you don't see the light here or here or how I made this entire background just for a set. I think that aspect's cool. I, the one aspect that I do find that you have to be very committed to YouTube. Uh, YouTube will cost you a lot of things, a lot of time. As long as you have supporting friends and family, for a small YouTuber making automotive videos, it's very hard to keep up. Like I'm building a rear mount Mustang Turbo and this Mustang Turbo um, I could have spent $1,200 and got forward facing headers. I spent $1,200 on pistons alone. I mean, I spent $1,200 on all the ARP hardware. But I wanted to do, I wanted to build my own kit and I knew it from the start. Right here is actually where the turbo flange would go. And uh, up here I got the outlet. I got to weld a V band for the wastegate there. And yes, this is not the mandrel bit one. Uh, I keep hearing that, the, actually uh, referring to a YouTube channel, I keep hearing that dude in blue. He keeps saying buy a tile wastegate. And everybody will tell you buy a name brand wastegate because that's what manages your exhaust pressure. So with that exhaust pressure getting too high, you're going to blow your motor, you're going to lift your head. And just, it's a lot of pressure in there, especially with these newer high, higher compression motors. But, um... You know, like this pipe right here should technically be mandrel bent, three inch pipe. Um, so the way I'm running my car is from each bank of the motor, so four cylinders, eight cylinders is going to share two and a half inches of pipe all the way to the turbo on my car. So two and a half's a test. This um, explains why I've not got this pipe welded up in a non mandrel with a tile wastegate. That dude in blue says you need one. So does the rest of the internet. And I got an ESUMA wastegate. It's a knockoff of a tile. Uh, right here, I've already welded my little dump tube. Got my welds around that. So I'm gonna switch this out, get a different pipe on this pipe right here, and uh, then route the cold side on the car. And the car will be tested with the rear mount turbo on seven pounds with a stock motor. If that works, and it, it works good, like decent, it spools, everything works decent, then I'm gonna go ahead and, and do try to do the rest of the pipe in three inch, or really nice two and a half mandrel, and then do the pipes a lot nicer. And with a better, like a precision turbo, that way you can just take that turbo and spin her up. I'm definitely gonna go with better flowing exhaust. Right now the car has BBK shorty tune length header, headers. Um, so the runners on the header are longer than like a log style or something like that. I can definitely tell the difference in sound and throttle response. It's got a BBK cold air intake. So I'm gonna have to do fuel fuel system. I'm gonna probably just get like nice injectors and throw on it at first and then throw a pump or a booster pump or something in it. And uh, so we got to do the fuel system. I have hoses and like random stuff. I need a fuel pump and injectors. Uh, for the turbo, I need the entire cold side. I haven't bought any of the cold side. I replaced the wastegate. The only thing that might be any good is uh, my dump tube from that ESUMA or whatever. Uh, we'll find out. I'm going to run it on the stock motor. Oh, going, going back to that, we got sidetracked on that tile wastegate. I do have all the forged internals for the motor. Like right now, I could just build the motor. Like right right now, I could take the motor out of the car and forge it. And it's been like that for almost a year. Almost a year where I've had these parts sitting ready to go. So, I don't know why. I just, I want a turbo, a hot side that works and works correctly. And I know that I need a tubular cam member. I know that I need a fuel system. And those are the more expensive items that... I'm like right there to building a forged two valve that probably should run in the 11s or 10s. I'm hoping that's all I want. A street car with like 600 to the wheel would be awesome. It'd be awesome. Um, that's all I want. 
and I know with that forged motor I can do it. It's just the turbo system that I'm trying out is rear mount, and everyone's like, it's not going to work, it's not going to boost. I've seen a lot of videos where these turbo rear mount vehicles, like SRT8s and all Jeeps, whatever, they do pretty good. And I've, I was actually thinking about getting different pistons um, to have a higher compression than the compression ratio that I chose. I chose one that should have 9.5 to 1 is the compression ratio. I was thinking about going to 10 to 1. I still might because um, I'm not going to have the car on a forged motor probably till the end of this year or next year. Who knows? A little over a year now and I'm like, well, like this is the car that has been in my family since it was brand new. The car was bought in Daytona from Gary Omens brand new off the showroom floor it supposedly had five extra coats of clear on it because it was a showroom floor model we bought it in um 2000 it's a 2001 so if that tells you anything the car has 140 or 70 thousand miles on it it's on its second motor um the body is pretty clean if you it's actually pretty mint because the car has set a lot um it's in pretty decent shape. Like it's a very, it's a clean car, to say the least. It's a clean car. Um, just needs some like bushing. Like most of the suspension now is BMR suspension with Eibach lowering springs, sway bars. Uh, the car is, sits on strange engineering shocks. Uh, it handles really nice. The slamming it to the ground with the Eibach Sportlings and and then running the strange at full max settings. Like the car is real stiff. It's you can soften it up if you want to go do some street driving. I like it stiff because it uh, hits some corners a little better. And that's I'm more of a corner person. Like I like straight lines. I want to take my car out and be able to run from the apocalypse if I had to. You know what I mean? I don't want that car to scoot along, but it should, it'll do good in the straight line when it's all done, said and done. So, anyways, yeah, I got to do the waste wastegate. I got to get this starter issue all fixed up and um you guys tell me what you what you think about this rear mount turbo system that i'm doing so this is just like my pace and my build um i'm in no rush at all not i have no reason to be actually here recently two of my cars broke and i needed to drive the mustang which would have been nice um but i still drove one of the trucks anyways so yeah once i need i want to get this car going within the next year and uh i got other lots of other projects I'm kind of cleaning up this shop, trying to fix this shop up. Got a lot of framing to do, and I got some air conditioners right here. Um, they run on 220. They're like the kind that you would get in a hotel room. Got them from a demo job that I was on, and uh, yeah. So that's it. That's the Mustang update. And uh, this is life in a Mustang. I'm Dustin. Peace. Kill it.